right, we're on the road again out to out to the new forest, and, uh, and the reason we're going there, it's, it's, it's autumn, it's, it's March, it's late March coming on now. And what we're going to look at, we're going to look at all the seeds and the berries and all that sort of thing, and the flowers, because that's the time of the year that everything's growing and, 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 and it feeds the birds now for, to get through the winter. So we're going to look at that today out there. So we'll be there soon, we've just got a little bit further to go and then we'll stop and have a look around. Right. right, we're out at the forest again, we've got out of the car and we're looking around. We're looking at all these trees and we'll see what, what's in flower and what isn't. And the blackberries are no longer, there's no fruit on the blackberries now, they're dying back. So we'll just walk on down and we'll have a look around. Now this, 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 this mat eye here, I look very close at that to see if I'm going to get berries hit. I just can't see what I've got. You'll notice there's a lot of new growth here. That's all that new white colour. So it's all from the winter growth. Oh, there's, there's, there's this new growth. There may not be any on that, because it's, it's, it's not that old. But they're due to have berries. That's really There's berries. Yeah. Look here. Yeah. Oh, Boomer. There's a few here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can you get a photo up close up of them? You see, there's this yeah, one. Yeah, they is... go black and they're right. Now, yeah. What yeah. I'm going to say to you, everybody, this is marvelous. This is 30 year old forest, and we've got berries. And when they're green, they're not, but when they go black, they're right. So, and these are quite hard to, to yeah, there we are, that's a right one, that's a free one. So the birds are eating them? They will. Okay. They will spread it. Now it's a very difficult plant to grow. We're still experimenting. Oh. Uh, in nature, you know, they'll drop thousands and thousands of berries. That, look at them, it's great, isn't it? Oh. This, this is the first time they've, they've fruited. This is the first year? First time, first year. This, this, there's three well, I'm years old. glad you saw them. Your eyesight's better than mine. See all that new yellow, that's new growth, and it is awesome, so oh. the growth is going on, so it's just like the berries. That's great. Now let's go and have a look. Should we go and have a look at another tree? We hope to find something on it. Okay. It's a white pine, a kaikatea. Kaikatea. We'll go and have a look at that, eh? I'm sorry I can't offer you any, anything to drink because of the last trip here we cleaned it all up. Yeah, but we're joking, of course. But, yeah, Who left them there? Somewhere well, else? Well, you know, they come off the road. You know, this is on a highway. People throw all their rubbish over. But I, I ignore it, otherwise I spend more time. Mm. You know, I've got better things to do with my time. Right, we go on. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Coposma robusta. Very common tree. Flat in, in berries. Nice ripe berries. Birds will pick all those. The green one's there and the right one's there. Mm -hmm. See, this is autumn. This is where all the food goes. This is a time of richness in your home gardens and your, your, your apples and your pears. And wife and I turn around and, and, and bottle things and make tomato relish, all that sort of thing. So it's a time of plenty. It really is a time of plenty to prepare for the winter. This is preparing the birds for the winter. And of course, unfortunately, the rats and the mice and the possums as well. But that's you, the way it you, is. You don't want to feed them? Not really, no. no. So we'll move on a bit. Further. This is that Australian wattle which is no value to me. Just using it for cover, that, that's all. You know, it's, it's rubbish. So on a bit here. Now I don't know what, if this, if this tote proceeds they'll be red, but they still could be green so I can't see that. This is the Pikatea, through here. Um, but, um, I can't see, oh yes, it might be just red leaves I think. Sure. Yeah, there's, there is. There's berries on there, yes. Is that berries? Yes, there are a few. Oh, okay, let's look a little bit further then. 
But they're too high. Yeah. Well, there's a little, there's a good amount of berries on here. Can you get a close view of it? No. Okay, that's right. So we're looking at another tree on the right. Um, well, there's a lot of berries on here. Oh, good. 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 Uh, this is where a big tree came down. We just cut the open. That's just this was uh, an acacia. So. Oh, you don't worry about it. No, no. It becomes the forest floor again. Oh. You know, and 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 what's happening here? You see, these um, called tukutuku are growing now. They've got light, so all these areas okay. are just covered in forest again. Yeah. See, see, there's no blackberries. See, all this stuff will come up, and this will act as a, a canopy, a cover. You know, it's, it's just a normal thing in a forest. Trees fall, they return to the earth. Mm. Fungi eat it, and other insects. It's just, it's just fine. Yeah. Oh, that one a bit smaller. Another one there. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm just looking everywhere. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Yeah, here's the berries. Yeah, I can see, see them. There? I can see them. Yeah. Now, that's why I quite hide it here. Isn't that marvelous? All this fruits are coming. All, all these fruits are coming now. Mm. They're green now and they get red and the, and, the, and the seed sits in the red. You know, okay. the red attracts birds. You know, when these colour up, those ones colour up, they come red. And it's, it's, it's sort of... Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a darker one, yeah. Oh yeah, well, yeah, they'll, they'll go red in the end. Yeah. So, that's pretty good. So I don't know what's happening up on those toads there. But I suspect there'll be, there'll be uh, seed on that as well. Yeah. Because yeah, everything's seeding. And when you consider this is only a 30 year old forest, so nobody can ever say to you that natives are slow growing. They're not. Well, if you want a fruit tree and it takes 30 years to fruit, give fruit. But it's no good to you at home. It's no good to you at home, but so you are okay with it. Earlier, every year. Yeah. Some trees do fruit every year here, by the way. Quite one of them. But Rimu, no. Rimu's about five and six years. See? Mm. Some some natives don't fruit every year. Oh, they don't fruit no, every no, year? No, 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 they don't. So these guys will. See all the fruit there? Yeah. Oh, here we are. There's some white ones. Yeah. See how the, you see how the, 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 the seed sits on the end of that yeah. red attractor? That attractor's yes. for birds. Yes. So they eat them, but they don't break the seed down. You know, they crack them out. Yeah. And what I do here, I can come along with a rake and this small this ground and get seedlings. There's a lot of fruit on there. Yeah, it's all good, eh? Yeah. This is, this is exciting for you. Oh yeah, this is, a, this is the old game. Yeah. And the best thing you can do now is put some mulch down here so that what do we fall uh -huh. and, and it's like another nursery. Okay. You get the receiving system. Yeah. So it will grow so, here. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> hey. Yeah. So I'm glad you're witnessing all of this because this is this is the end of the road for me, like the end of the, the trail so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey? So now we're gonna concentrate on the undergrowth. I don't have to plant any more of these, there's plenty now. Because they will produce now. Now. Yeah. And of course, male and female, and it's different in colour and different density. Yeah. So this was, this was. Oh, that's a, that was a damaged by possum, or you know. Oh, okay. So it's damaged, but yeah. with a bit of luck, it's it'll be okay. But anyway, this, no, this, is, this is now okay. Well, yes it, and no, it could rot in there. Sorry. It could rot. Oh, uh, can you do it? But I don't mind it. It's doing its job now. Mm. You know, it's here for many years. It won't fall. It won't rot next year. Maybe 10 years down the track, I'm not sure if it's fine, but it's all right. It's what forests are, eh? Trees get damaged, you see. There's one back there, got the whole top knocked out of it. But, mm. but that's the one that's fruiting, but it'll come right. Nature's a wonderful thing, it'll just come right without us interfering, just let it do its job. Don't try and change things. Let nature do it. I get a rake sometime and, I'll, and I can loosen all this up, throw a bit of stuff in here, all right, like that. Loosen it up. Forget about it. Some of these berries can fall in there. It will grow. Well, maybe, maybe not.
Mm. But that's letting nature do it. No, I can show there's the sun standing there. So, yeah. so the birds are going to spread it? Birds and, 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 and animals, any animal, not all birds, any animal that doesn't crunch the seed up mm. and destroy the embryo. See? Oh, okay. You see? Our birds with their mandibles like, well, not sparrows, but, but uh, um, any, any of the uh, parrots, they all have bills that crush. You don't? No, 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 no. no. Parrot, like kaka. You won't get me. I don't think you get many seed passes through a kaka's gut, and, unless they, unless it misses getting crunched. Mm. You understand that? So you get birds like tuis, bellbirds. They're nectarating. They eat leaves, and they've got a different bill structure, different mandibles. That they actually, in this case here, I'll give you an idea here. Oh, we haven't got that tree. No, we're not in the right place. Uh, when you got these tree we looked at before, we found this. Oh, here we are. Right there is. Now I'll just take one of these. I'll take one of these off, and I'll show you. Yeah, we got that. I put that in the sunlight. See that, that? That's the food for the birds. That, not that. Mm. So when they swallow that, that gets that, that gets done by the birds, and then that passes through the gut as a seed, and, and it drops to the ground in in the droppings of the bird. I'm going, to, I'm going to make out. I'm going to make out that it's the new forest. So how old is this tree? What what is what tree now, is this? Now this is a Miro tree. Uh -huh. This is a Miro, and this year again. It's, uh, so it so it also have berries on. Oh yeah, and see these berries here I've got in my hand. So you pick them up. Have been dropped from the tree. Okay. These are berries. Miro berries. Again, it's just that year that everything's going well. This is a fairly old tree. I can I can see them up there. Can you? I mean with my eye but not with the camera. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's good eye. Yeah. So that's another tree you've got. Them. What do you haven't worked out? What's I don't think anybody has worked out the, 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 the droppings in a bird. I think it's acidy. So it tends to break that hard I think. Mm. It breaks down that hard shell. You know? Like I think nurserymen often use vinegar and stuff like that, or they boil it, you know, like, like corfi seed. It's too hard, you know? So you, they, they either scratch it to break that surface. But I feel with birds, I think it's the, the content of the stomach that helps to break that down. That's my theory. Mm -hmm. I think I'm right. Somebody will, somebody will write and will phone in and say, you're wrong, yo. But I would have learned something from them, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Hey, all good, eh? Uh, we uh, we noticed that we uh, we had your comments and much appreciated because we're going to learn from your comments is the fact that uh, the noise was a problem the music and, and, the, and the vehicles so what we've done uh, Christo and I we sat down and have gone right through it and we couldn't agree with you more uh, but if you don't send us um, these comments there's no way we can improve um, but so we do we do look at them but we don't get many of them. And another aspect here is this um, this um, business of um, recognizing what we do. What's the word I'm trying to think of? Um, what is it? Oh, I can't think. I'll come to them in a moment. But uh, anyway, that, that's what we've got to do. Um, we'll do that, and next time you view it, we've taken it down. The next time you view it is just about what you required. And but I really would recommend that you subscribe to these videos because anything with uh, with YouTube, if you get a thousand views, they'll pay you some money, you see. Now, any monies we get through this, we will use for pest control, which, we, which is quite expensive. So, we've only got 700 views, so we need to get a, uh, 700 subscribers. subscribers. Um, so, we, uh, we really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything to, to subscribe. But if you do that for us, you're helping our forest to get our birds into there. Because as of now, we're not we're not sort of getting on top of this. So so um, so thanks very much for watching it, and and keep up the comments, negative or positive, I don't care, because we're going to learn all the time. We'll all learn together. Thanks for watching. Thanks very much.